and your computer. Now connect your printer with your computer with the help of USB cable. Let me connect here. Okay, it's done. Once you connect the USB cable to your computer, it will automatically install the drivers for your printer. Make sure your printer is turned on and it's connected with the USB cable to your computer. Okay, so it's automatically installing. I think it's done. Let me show you here. Go to control panel by opening run and then type control and press enter. Now you need to go to the printers option. Add printers. Now you can see here view devices and printers. Okay, you can see there is one Canon printer. Here it is. So you can see the Epson L3110 printer is installed. So in Windows 10, it has inbuilt drivers. So you just need to connect your printer with the help of USB cable to your computer. It will install the basic drivers on your computer. If you want to install the advanced drivers, like you want to use the full functionality, like you have scanner and you want to use that, then you have to install the full drivers. For that, I will show you the all steps, how you can install the full driver to use the full functionality of your printer. Okay, open any browser and go to the Google website. Then type here, like I'm using the Epson printer model, L3110. So I'm typing Epson printer drivers, L3110 printer drivers download. So I'm opening the first link. Okay. Now you can see here, just scroll down. And it will show you the operating system. You can choose your operating system here. It's showing Windows 10 detected. So you need to select that. Now just scroll down and you can see it's showing download. Now click on the download. Click on save file. So it's downloading the file. Let me see. Okay, it's downloaded. Now double click on the file. Okay. Now let's start with the setup process. So it's opening the file. Okay, it's taking some time. Okay, now you need to press yes to allow this application to make changes on your computer, on your device. Press yes. Okay, so this file contains the installer to update everything you need to use your Epson printer. So it has the whole drivers for your printer. Press OK. So it's installing. Okay, Epson, exit your vision. Okay. Now you need to choose a language here. I can use English to so press next. Now here we need to accept the license agreement. Now you can select here the features what you want you can see it has the scanners photo print guide link everything which your printer has it has all the features press install now it's connecting to the epson website servers to get the latest and updated drivers for your epson printer so it's downloading this is the USB printer which I am showing you how to install the USB printer. For wireless printer, I will update other tutorial after some time. So let's done with this first one. So it's connecting to the server. It takes some time because it depends on the speed of your internet. So you have to wait for that. Okay, so it's starting. Now you can see here it's showing your printer and these are the inks which installed in your printer and they suggest you that you always you can use the original and the genuine Epson printer cartridges to get the best results and quality okay so it's installing you can see the progress bar it's running okay more style printing options are labeled with Epson specialty okay percent of your paper supply with manual two-sided printing okay, you can print two-sided as well but you need to do them manually so 
Okay. Okay. Again, it's showing the channel name. I close a system with auto stop ink bottles. Okay, sorry. You can use this L3110 for photo printing as well. It's a good printer. So, again, showing the same thing. So, let it be complete. Meanwhile, if you want, you can have a glass of water or you can have a coffee while it's installing the printer on your computer. Okay. Superior image quality. You can see it's showing the superior image quality because it's a photo printer as well. Okay. Apart from that, I will paste the link of the website from where you can get all the instructions to install the Epson printer on your Windows 10 computer. I will paste the link in the description so you can open that when you want and that help you to install Epson printer on your computer. Right now I am help you with the like a Windows 10 operating system and tomorrow or day after tomorrow I will update the new video with the Mac operating system. So I will help you to install the Epson L3110 printer on your Mac computer. And it's the same with the all printer models. It doesn't matter which printer model do you have. Make sure you have the USB cable, the correct USB cable, and your computer with connected with the USB cable. That helps you to install this printer on your computer. So it's installing Okay, it's showing the 26% progress. Okay, Epson drivers and utilities. I'm using the Epson printer for a long time and I'm fond of that printer. Okay, easy photo print setup is preparing. Okay, now it's preparing installing the easy photo print drivers. And earlier version of PhotoPrint is already installed. Okay, it's asking to update the version. So let's update that. Okay, so it's doing so. so let it be complete. Now oh, it's 84%. And if your like cartridge is empty, you can refill at your home. You just order the ink from online stores like Amazon or eBay. You will get the bottle. You just need to open the bottle and insert the king ink on your cartridge. It's very easy to refill the cartridges of this printer. Okay, so it's okay. It's progress is hundred percent now. Click next to begin printer setup. Let's press next. Or confirm. I already installed the new cartridges, so let's confirm. Press next. Now it's checking the connection. And as the printer is already connected with the USB cable, so it's showing printer detected. Now it's less wait to complete the setup. If you want, you can try with the test page or else press next. Now it's checking the updated firmware over the internet. Startup summary is done. If you want to register, you can register, but I don't want to register my product with the Epson online. So let's finish this. Great. So now the full drivers for your Epson printer is already installed, and you can see it's already make a default printer. So now full driver for your Epson L3110 printer installed on your Windows 10 computer. Now you can enjoy the printing, scan the documents. Everything will work fine. Let me see something here. Okay. Now hope you enjoyed this video. I will post other videos to help you out. Now it's your turn. Just press the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So in future if I'll post any new video you will get update about the same. And thanks for watching.